Hey, welcome to another video for our People List application. In this video, we're going to take this Add button and activate it. So right now, we just have three people in our lists. We want to add more. So when we create a button listener for Add, we want to be able to open up the other activity, which is called Add Person Form, is it? Or Activity New Person Form. I think that's the one. <laughs> so a new person form is this one here. It will add a new uh, entry form with an OK button and a cancel. And then we're going to add it to the list. So let's get started. We're going into the main activity.java to do our first coding. So in here we can already see we have created a uh, reference to the button underscore add. If you don't have one, we need to put that in there. So we are going to pull out the button add reference in the layout. Before we end the onCreate uh, method, we need to put in the on listener. So let's see, btn add, and we're going to set on click listener. So this will allow us to listen to the uh, add button. The new on click listener is the next function, and that should do some autocomplete text. Now we want to be able to open up another activity. So we already have the uh, activity new person form created here. And it's got, uh, it's got an include, which is our data entry form. It's got a button cancel and a button OK. So I'm just checking to make sure that everything is there. If you don't have this yet, then we have to create a new form. So back to activity main. So how do I get that form to open? It's called an intent. So intent is a class. And I'm just going to name it I. And we want a new intent. So how do we get it to work? So inside of these parameters here, we're going to have to add some information on how this is going to run. The first item that it needs is to know the context of where this is coming from. The second parameter is going to ask where it's going. So the intent comes from the current activity. So the key understanding here is where did this uh, function click listener get called from? Well, the answer is here in the letter V. So V stands for view, which means the button that will click to this. So the only button that can click this thing is the button add. So V dot get context is what I need to tell the um, app where this is in relation to the other parts of the application. So that's where it comes from. Now, where's it going? So where it's going is to the next piece of Java code. So let's take a look in Java here and we have a new person form, uh, Java. Let's go to that. So new person form, and we have to tell it that that's actually a class. So that is the intent that will open up an explicit call to another activity. There are two types of intents. There's an explicit type, which I've just shown you, and there's an implicit type. So the implicit type would ask the operating system to pick an activity for us. For instance, if implicitly I said, send a phone call, it would go for any dialer application on your phone. Or open a map. It would likely open Google Maps, but there could be a second or third apps program. And then we could ask for things like uh, send a text, and here's a string of text. So those would all be implicit to let the operating system or let the user choose one of how it's going to act. In this case, we are using explicit calls, so we are saying only the new person form can respond to this intent. So the next line is we're looking for a command called start activity. And start activity requires a parameter of intent. Well, fortunately, the letter I is our intent. So let's save that. I'm going to run the program and see if it'll call the new activity. Okay, so the activity is open. Now if I click the Add button, we should get a new list. So here is the next screen. Now it would be nice if I could do Cancel and OK here, but that's for another activity or another video. So that is the way to create an intent and start a new activity. So in the next video, we'll take a data entry form, capture the data, click OK, and send the data back to our original program. 